Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, Alexander Kekka fighting Chandler Chapman. This is a title fight. Yeah, like you were saying, Ryan, Chandler Chapman, you got to, you, you got to watch him in North Platte. How, you know, he's a very lax fighter when he's in the cage. How's that, do you think he's, you know, this is this is a whole different ball game, you know, this is a title fight, you know, do you think he's going to, you know, have that same lax style knowing, um, you know, or do you think he's gonna be a little bit more, you know, a little different knowing it's a title fight? I think it's gonna be different because of the level of opponent he's fighting. Um, now that I'm watching these guys walk out, we've actually faced um, a training partner of Alexander Keko with one of my athletes, and and we actually lost that one. And my athlete is number one um, flyweight in, in the Midwest. So, so he's, a, he's a stud athlete, and uh, yeah, this they come from a great camp, stud strikers, and you know, Chapman has got his hands you know, full with this one. For sure. What but, you're saying is gonna be an exciting fight. Exactly. Let's go, man, let's go. I, we're excited, so I hope you guys are excited at home. Here we go, we've got Chandler Chapman coming up next. Oh man, this is the people's champ right here. He, how can you not like this guy? How can you not like this guy? He's always got a smile on his face. And like I said, he, he, I don't think he's, he's always fought elsewhere, correct? Correct. You know, yep. that's, that's tough, man, in your hometown, but, you know, he, I think he relishes these, these pressure situations, and, and he looks like the type of athlete that will, and so, oh yeah, I'm just really Speaking stoked. of I me, mean, speaking of Chandler, this is, like, like you said, this is his home, you know, this is his home gym. Yeah. He, he coaches here. He, he sees people from, you know, he sees people that are brand spanking new to people that, uh, you know, that train all the fighters. So, yep. you know, this is going to be, this is going to be a interesting fight. You know, he's, this is not, you know, a, a new place for him. He's here every single day, multiple hours a day. So we'll see, we'll see. And that's what it's about. Living the lifestyle, if you want to be a fighter, you gotta, you gotta work it, you gotta live it, you gotta love it. Exactly. And exactly. this man does. not going to be a one-sided this is not going to be a one-sided title fight guys ladies and gentlemen welcome for our co-main event of the evening this fight is a welterweight championship bout we have in the cage right now the according to topology the sixth ranked fighter in illinois versus the sixth ranked fighter in the state of nevada this is Chandler Chapman's first fight in the state of Indiana, first fight in the Midwest rankings, taking on a high level, a high level opponent in Alexander Kekka. Let's go right there in the red corner, fighting out of team top notch, Alexander Kekka. And in the blue corner, you know him, maybe you love him, maybe you don't, maybe his head's too big for his body. <laughs> Chandler Mike Chapman! Jones. Mike Here we go, guys. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Good low kick. These, these heavy low kicks, man, right out the gate from these guys is, like I said, they can be a detriment when you get them checked. This is a very high level, high level fight we have right here. And that's a good kick from Kekka. Kekka has good kicks. You see that in prepping, Chandler knew that. They have a, a low kick, but, but Chapman is looking to, looking to, and that's a good connection from Kekka early on. So I think right now, immediately, we should, we're seeing Chapman see more, diver, more adversity than he has seen in his previous fights. Alexander Kekka's uh, kickboxing coach is Herc Hayes out of Team Top Notch. A good, uh, very legendary coach in the area, coming all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Nice. I 
with him. You can feel it in the room. Some good stance switches coming from Chapman. You know, he's switching and fainting. And Hold his leg there. Hold his leg back, yeah. He looks very comfortable. Mm. Maybe too comfortable because it could, because Kekka's, oof, oof. Bringing up Sarah's, Kekka's really bringing some heat. And Chapman looks really comfortable. I don't know if ja Chapman's been in there with somebody who can really do it the way that Kekka does. Kekka has two titles in other organizations, a lightweight title and a welterweight title. So he's been in the championship fights. And trades oh. there. Big punch. Good, Kekka move forward. Touch, touch Chapman in the body. Now we have a shot. It's on the wrestling. Leg. How is Kekka uh, responding? Responding well, getting the leg to the outside. A minute 20 left in this round. Good drive, Kekka defends. Good work from both guys. Good defense from Kekka. Chapman's in there working right now. Underhook. Good frame from Kekka. Fouls with a hook out of, out of the clinch. Good low kick, go, good low kick from Kekka. Good chop. Both guys. This is, this is, this is, we're getting to watch guys who both can be pros at this point. Two composed guys in their fighting. High level. You can just tell by the movement and just the switches. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Wow, hurt him there, hurt him bad, hurt, hurt him, him bad. There, hurt him there. There's going to be 20 seconds left, so this is a place where Chapman is going to be looking for a finish. He knows he has him hurt. It was the body or was it the head? Was it the body or was it the head? It's a good question. Now, now I, I think, think, the, too fast. I think I the knee might have came through and clipped the head. It almost Oh, you like. think so? Good. I couldn't tell. Man, I don't know. <laughs> Bottom of the foot, hit him and jump. Bottom of the foot, him in the jaw. We see an uppercut by Keck at the end and some, some good movement. Wow, uh, what a run. First so round. I, I want to see that review. He said the bottom of the foot hit him in the jaw. Let's, okay. let's see that shot. Okay. It was a head kick. So let's, let, let's look at the replay. Looking. Work from the outside. Ooh. 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 That was a very pretty setup. Very pretty setup. He just um, snuck right through there. Yeah, and he was very hurt. So we'll see how he recovers. He recovered well at the end of the round. I, I, the guard I think, was even tight. Yeah. And that snuck he just there. popped it. You know, that's that, he, he runs that bang Muay Thai system. Uh, there, all, all the guys that Lee Brothers do. And that was a, a really nice a really nice setup. But I thought that Alexander Kekka recovered by the end of the round. Let's see how he feels coming out. And, and, and what Chris, nice. Coach Chris is, is asking him to do if he wants him to push it or be more patient. That was, a, that was an incredible uh, first round out of both <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Her case makes his way out of the cage, and these boys are stepping in for round two. Man, elite athletes. Oh, absolutely. Both of these guys. These guys are going to fight at a high level. If they stick with it and pursue it, then both of these guys are going to have to fight at a very high level. Obviously, a catch of the, of the leg, and then, and then Chapman bails out. Maybe in a previous fight, you would have seen a lift there, right? But you see some respect gained from Chapman. He knows even if he has a leg that, that Kaka can do damage. Dynamic kicks coming from Chapman. Oof, oof. Big shot. And the, the hands are fast from Chapman. Oof. Oh, oh, and he catches him with a counter. Right, man. Look at Chapman stays right there. Stays right there. Wow, good. Good. Kekka's coming forward. But now we're in the wrestling. Kekka's forcing the grab the wrestling exchange. So how does Chapman do with somebody forcing the wrestling exchange with him? Good takedown from Kekka. And this is something we haven't seen from Chapman is when somebody takes him down in a cage. He hasn't fought somebody who has the ability to do that yet. And so his coach said calling for a stand-up. Sometimes you have a risk when you do stand-up is exposing your neck. And so now we have a turtle position from, from Chapman with Kekka looking to take the back. No, half. He's not quite on the back yet, not quite on the back. We're going to see the jiu-jitsu from Kekka. How's the play up there? Both blue boats, both high level. And now this is a situation where Kekka has that hip covered. He's looking to get that, that other hip in. And I can't see what the hands of Chapman are doing, but both hooks are in. And he is getting flattened out now. Looking to posture up. The head comes out. Sort of like, as you think in wrestling, is that more like a splatal position? But he's getting rocked high. He wants a guillotine. Now, he has won by guillotine in several other fights. So Kekka does have a good guillotine. 
Chapman exits. It's kind of just no respect for Ooh. Chapman anymore. He's just kind of marching him down. Yep. Absolutely. Sorry, that's what he's going to go do. Oof. Oof. This is a minute. Oof. Good kick, though. Ooh, oh. ooh, that big kick. You see, That's Chandler's going back the to the elbow. body. Yeah. Oh, oh. And Chapman saw the first advers adversity he's seen in a fight. Now he's going back, but now we're seeing Kekka can wrestle. And that's going to be a, a, a difference, an adjustment for Chapman if he goes, oh, looking for the triangle. He's in a good, good position. He has those long legs. He has the length advantage in this situation. Um, but like I said, both guys blue belts. The guard's a little bit open, but he has his grips, his nice grips up top. So he's coming around for the armbar. Really wants that armbar. Kekka, interesting fact. Kekka has four wins by submission. He has three losses by submission. So a little live by the sword, die by the sword for Kekka. We have an armbar. It looks tight. It looks oh, tight. Oh. Based on, we have, it looks tight. It looks tight. This might be it. He's got an okay defense, but it looks like it's, it's right there. It's right there. I mean, maybe he's not, the elbow's not low. We got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Chapman really working to extend that arm. He wants to believe in his jiu-jitsu. It looks like Kekka's going to be safe. Okay, there it is. Inter interesting second round. What do you guys think? Um, well, good work. Good work from both. I would say two takedowns for Kekka. You would have to give the advantage to Kekka. Um, uh, we'll, we'll just take a look at the replay right now. Good. Chapman with a good kick. Kekka kind of missing there to the outside. A lot of kicking in here. And there's the finish with the takedown. And that was, I think that's a, a detail that's uh, surprising to Chapman. I think that he expected to be uh, on the offense when it came to the wrestling. You see him accepting the jiu-jitsu, coming really close to that arm bar. Um, in terms of uh, judges usually, Ryan, you would say judges usually prefer the wrestling. Takedown's going to score higher than the threatened arm bar. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Unless, you know, it's a situation where somebody gets rocked and then it's a close finish, you know. But, but yeah. They definitely score wrestling higher. You'd, you'd say we're one to one going into this one. I think so, yeah. One to one. The person who wins this round wins the Art of Scrap welterweight title. Yes, sir. Here we go. Exciting fight. This Great. is a contender fight. Uh, there might not be a better welterweight up fight in the country that we can watch for amateurs. Oof. Oof. Oh, some things there. The Chapman looks fresh. No, he's still. Th oh, we got hurt. Got hurt there on the cage. Oh, Switch. good shot. Oh. I said now the, ch the, the, the chest position of Keka as of high, so he's not in danger. Even though the head's under there, he's not in danger right now. Now he's looking to be the higher guy in the exchange. That's always going to favor. That's going to favor Keka. Yeah. Chapman knows he needs to get up. And what I do like to see is he's working to get up, but, but right now Keka has good pressure coming straight down. He's got good grips. And when it comes to jiu-jitsu, grips are essential. The grips, uh, the, the grips are the fight. If you have a good grip, you have a good grip, you really win the fight. He's got a good grip with Chapman right now, uh, who's got to get busy and get up. Yeah, he needs to be urgent. He needs to be looking for the stand-up right away. But you can see the frame. You can see the frame from Keka. Oh, 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 oh. No heel hooks. Though. No heel hooks. But he uses it to get up. Oh, we go. A minute 40. Good Chapman's got to be busy, and he has to win the round here. He has to win the round here. I'd say maybe at this point you're, you're looking for your own, yes. your own takedown. You know, win, just win the round. Oh, oh, oh. It's a good movement. Chandler does a great job at hiding his exhaustion. <laughs> oh, and, and yeah, there's he, some moves out there. The angles he's, he's hitting, and he's, yes. he's hitting really. Yeah. But we can't give a takedown here. The hips in, big, big hips. Defense. Big sprawl, driving the cage. Great spot. And they, uh, these, oh, oh, big dump. And you see Chapman's just not happy about that. You can tell yeah. he's not happy getting taken down in the cage. And that's where Kekka's doing his work. Sometimes you can be a very technical wrestler out in the middle, but you got a guy who understands cage work as Kekka does. And you can get you get those takedowns on the cage where Kekka is. Yeah, the pressure is just three suffocating. Hey, 
And we dig in for the choke, dig in for the choke. We're, we're down 30, 35, 35 seconds. Chapman defending with a, with a, 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 a mount now, now staying on the back for Kekka. And this is a situation where Kekka's in, in a good position uh, ahead right now. Uh, digging for that choke with 20 seconds left. And we have 15 seconds. He's trying to clear his base. Trying to clear his base. And, and, and Chandler hasn't stopped. He's just trying to get his base back. And that's a work all the way to the belt. This is going to go to the decision. Time. And there it is. Great fight overall, though. Man, you guys asked for a title fight. I don't think it gets you better than that. Got it. <laughs> Man, you guys got that title fight. Whoa, what a fight. What a fight. Alexander Kekka showed up. Very, Man. very, ex two very, ex you know, experienced. You can, you can see it in the cage, the experience yeah. in the fighters. You know, we yeah. all knew, we all knew Chapman was going to be here and, and bring the fight and, yeah, yeah. and be awesome like he is, but. Using the we, cage to his advantage. We did not expect that from Alexander Kekka. The wrestling, really? I, from Good, and we've got some replays right here. Just to remind you guys, these replays are brought to you by Hoot Landscaping and Design. Man, look at this. Look at this, man. That the wrestling, work. I think, I think, yeah, the cage work and the wrestling is just something we weren't expecting. We, we heard a lot about the kickboxing from Kekka and... Mm -hmm. And, and the kickboxing from Chandler, and but but that turned out to be a grappling that, fight. Yep. You know, I mean, yep. it, well, there was a lot of kickboxing exchanges, but for sure, for it sure. was a mixed martial arts fight. But yep, yep, there was some good grappling, exchanges. a lot of grappling, especially in that last round, round as well. Applause. Here we go. We're gonna get to decision, guys. And tonight's co-main event. The welterweight championship bout, we have a split decision. Judges score the bout 29-28, Kekka. 29-28, Chapman. And 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Alexander Kekka. There it is, guys. Alexander Kekka takes the belt.